Every day, Dr. Gail Burstein and Erie County Executive Mark Polinkars stress the same message. Stay at home. You know, it's just not worth it. The cost is just not worth it. Staying at home protects lives. You know, let's all work together to keep this social distancing going. But are Western New Yorkers listening? The answer is no, according to Unicast, a company that tracks human mobility. Here's how each county breaks down. On Wednesday, the only counties in our region averaging around a 50 to 70 percent decrease in social mobility are Erie and Niagara. That decreases compared to what our movement was before the COVID-19 pandemic. After that, grades get worse. Cattaraugus County gets a C, Genesee County gets a C minus, Allegheny and Chautauqua County both get a D, and Orleans and Wyoming counties score a D minus, the lowest grade in New York State, meaning social mobility in those counties dropped Wednesday only 25 to 40 percent. Really, we only want you to go outdoors for essential shopping or uh, some type of essential errands like to pick up pharmaceuticals. So please don't go to store just for fun, just to look around as something to do. Just stay at home. Unicast collects this data from ad servers, meaning anytime a person opens an app or website, information about their location is shared. Unicast takes that information and gives each county a new ranking every day. Tuesday, Erie County received a C, so Wednesday's B ranking showed improvement. So we want to see this curve of ours, as we said, squished and lengthened out instead of peaking and going beyond our hospital capacity. We all have to be good and stay at home. In Buffalo, Jetty Johnson, 7 Eyewitness News. There is growing concern about the disproportionate number of black and African Americans dying from the coronavirus. Governor Cuomo revealing today African Americans represent 28 percent of the deaths in New York City. It's more dire here at home. Take a look at this. One of the largest clusters in Erie County is in the 14215 zip code, where there are now 100 cases. In Erie County, 33 percent of the deaths are in the black and African American community, yet Black people make up just 14% of the population. 7 Eyewitness News reporter Madison Carter explains how the city of Buffalo is responding to the influx of cases on its Upper East Side. 